you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the top 7 players in Madden Ultimate Team just revealed by the Madden Ultimate Team sports page. Now, here's the issue, guys. In terms of everything, I am blocked by them on Twitter, so Zerk did just send me some screenshots to make my video. Shout out to him for that one real quick. I am, They blocked me a long time ago, so here's the thing. You can see pretty much the card art right here. That's as well. We're going to try to make out those stats, although it's kind of tiny there. I'm going to go through it. There's the top seven revealed, so we will know the top seven players, which for the most part is probably all the 88, so it's pretty cool to know who the 88s are going to be. So... And starting this video, so guys, before we get into today's video, this is the first Madden 21 Ultimate Team news we have had officially for the year. The season's officially kicked off, guys. Go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your boys from join the family, and of course, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, guys, and smash the like button. Can we get 100 likes on our first Madden 21 Ultimate Team news, guys? If, you're, if you guys are loyal supporters, a few likes here could really help us out this season as we keep trying to get ourselves back into the grind of things. So that's it. You guys ready? Let's get into it. So first, Zach Martin. Coming in at probably the last spot, I'd imagine, out of the ones I saw there. 86 strength, 89 awareness, 85 pass block, 86 pass block power, and 83 pass block finesse. Then we got 88 run block, 88 run block finesse, 88 run block power, and 86 run block uh, finesse. Sorry. It's been a while since I've said this stuff. So that's a really good card right there. That's going to be probably that's gonna be the best right card in the game. Kind of a guy I'll probably want day one, especially if the running game is as good as it was this year. Definitely want him in the trenches, guys. A guy like Zach Martin, week one or even the first month, plays a huge role in your team's success, I'm telling you. Because most people aren't going to have great defensive... No one no one buys defensive line right away. Or for the most part, no one really buys defensive tackles right away. People get their ends sometimes. And people like to spend more money on offense right away. A lot of people don't know to spend money on their, their D-line first. So you get a guy like uh, uh, Zach Martin, you're going to be opening up holes through the lane all day. I promise you guys. I promise you. Moving on to the next picture right here, we do have... Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald, 88 overall right end for the Rams. Again, 74 speed, 82 excel, 90 strength, 82 tackle, 88 play recognition, 87 block shed, 87 power move, and 86 finesse move. As per usual, guy, Aaron, guys, Aaron Donald's gonna be a top piece. You power him up and you chem him up. You're gonna get him to the 90 block shed threshold and the 90 power move threshold. So he's gonna once again be just like Jalen Ramsey day one. Gonna be the best pass rushing run stuffing combo for the first day. You're not going to want to not have a guy like Donald in your team, guys. You're going to want to make sure you scoop him up. Use your power pass on him that you could probably get in the first few days. Moving on to the next one, we got Bobby Wagner, who seems to be there every year as a top guy. 79 speed, though, again, pretty slow in my opinion. I probably won't have Wagner on the squad, depending on how speed is the first week. I'll probably end up using my Patrick Queen and, like, a Devin Bush-type base card for the speed. I feel like Bobby Wagner is always too slow, but for the first week, it might be okay because he does have the Excel 81. 72 strength, 88 tackle, 89 play rec, 84 block shed, 87 power move, and 81 zone. Now that zone, hit power, and power block shed is going to be pretty huge for the first few weeks, especially when you have him just playing by himself, and you go and you use a guy like Patrick Queen or someone like that. Could be very beneficial here. Now moving on to the next car, we do have Jalen. Oh, we have Christian McCaffrey. I thought I saw Ramsey. 85 speed. Okay, hold up. They made McCaffrey fast this year. Guys, it's official. McCaffrey's going to be one of the best running backs again. Or finally, I should say. If you guys remember last year, the fastest running backs in Madden to start the year originally had like an 84, 85 speed. And then there was like a Marcus Allen who got near like 87. But McCaffrey did not have an 85 last year. I believe he had like an 82 for his base league card. So he's going to have a good speed. Now, mind you that he is an 88. So I don't know if it's going to be considered super fast. Considering we don't know what the speed threshold is going to be. But I believe 85 on a base Christian McCaffrey is really good. 87 Excel. 89, I believe that's awareness, or 89 agility, so that means he's going to get the 90 uh, agility threshold. Now, I don't know how that's going to factor into superstar X factors and just abilities in general, but it could be huge. 90 carrying, which is amazing. 70 catching, which means he is going to have powered up and chemmed up probably an 80 catch. 90, he's going to have an 89 change of direction plus his power up. A 48 truck, which is expected, and a 78 break tackle, guys. He's going to be a crazy good elusive back to start the year. Super excited for this Christian McCaffrey card. We'll probably... I don't know, guys. I don't want to make any promises here, but I think I'm going to have to get this guy in week one. He might even overtake Saquon Barkley if the stats show. But then again, if McCaffrey has an 85, maybe Barkley will be pretty similar because last year he did have better stats on a worse overall card. Next, we got Michael Thomas, Mr. Slant Round himself. Don't kill me in the comments for that one. 83 speed, slow as per usual, but he does have better than an 81 speed, which I believe is what he started with last year. But again, Michael Thomas will not be on my team, more than likely. I'd much rather get Tyreek Hill, Odell Beckham Jr., 
and just that breed of receiver, you know, the faster, uh, more game-breaking receivers. Now, Michael Thomas is great if you're, if you're route heavy or you run, like, very specific routes and stuff. I'm trying to break the game open. Uh, Michael Thomas, never too fast. I don't know why they do that to him. I feel like he's faster in real life, but 86, I believe that's jump, 89 catch, 87 catch in traffic, 86 spec catch, 88 uh, short route running, 87 medium route running, and 80 deep route running. Guys, to be honest with you, I really can't see them, but I more or less memorized the way I say these out loud, so it's kind of coming to me. Great route running, though. If you guys are going to run a pass-heavy scheme, short routes, medium routes, deep routes, you power this guy up. He's going to be probably the best route runner in ultimate team to start the year. Not horrible. Going to be a great catcher, great route runner. The only thing with him is going to be the speed. I guess if you power him up and you can even get sprinter, but that could take a while. If you guys remember, sprinter is just not that widely available for the first month or so for the average player. Specifically, doesn't spend a lot of money. And then last but not least, guys, we got Patrick Mahomes. I know you guys all want to see this. I guess if these are all the 88s, that means Lamar's not an 88, which I think I knew that already, or assumed that. That means a few guys aren't going to be an 88. That means Brady's not an 88 anymore. That means um, Saquon's obviously not an 88, but we kind of figured that Ezekiel Elliott's not up there either. We don't have Dalvin Cook up there. We do not have Julio up there, which is interesting. Unless it's just top seven, but I doubt they wouldn't do all the 88s together. But let's go Patrick Mahomes, 88 overall. 73 speed, 88 throw power, 88 short accuracy, 86 medium accuracy. 84 deep accuracy, 88 throw under pressure, 97 throw on the run, 87 throw on the run, sorry, 86 play action. Guys, again, you power them up, come up, gonna have above 90 throw power to start the year, which is huge to start the year. Gonna have above 90 short accuracy, gonna have close to 90 medium accuracy, and mid high 80 deep. With throw under pressure threshold hitting, and potentially throwing the run. Guys, Mahomes gonna be an awesome quarterback. Only guy I think who could be better week one is gonna be Lamar, and that's strictly because Lamar's gonna have that speed. And if Lamar can get a skate bar to start the year off, I'm telling you, he's gonna be glitchy if they bring that back. Mahomes, on the other hand, gonna be one of the, gonna be the best quarterback, not the best overall player, but throwing wise, gonna be the best throwing quarterback, probably hands down. Super exciting stuff, guys. I really do enjoy the players I saw here now, who I feel as though we're missing. So we got we got Mahomes, we got Michael Thomas, uh, McCaffrey, Wagner, Donald, and um, Zach Martin. I feel like we're missing Ramsey. I feel like Ramsey should have been on there. I do feel as though Khalil Mack maybe should have been on there. Now again, maybe top seven is just top seven. It's not exactly going to be all the 88 overalls, but maybe Mac, Ramsey, and those guys get an 87. I could see maybe Ramsey 87, because after the trade, maybe they, whatever analyticals they use to decide that, maybe something there. Uh, Saquon, because he's coming up injury, of course, so that could really throw things off in there as well. But as a whole, solid top seven, really cool to see some ultimate team news. Finally, we are what? Potentially two to four days out from this game, and we're finally getting something here. Now, the card art is exactly what we expected. It's not horrible. I mean, people complained about it. I'm, I'm okay. I just, want, I just want the game personally. Now, they did say they're going to unveil some kind of option, so maybe you could change the card art style when you get into the game. That remains to be seen, guys. But that's pretty much about it for the video. These are your top seven Madden 21 Ultimate Team players. That's it. Like These are going to be those guys like from last year, like the Hopkins, the Wagners, and those guys. So, guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notify bell, boys. Turn that notify bell for the first videos, especially tomorrow with all the news. And... Make sure to smash that like button. Come get 100 likes on the first 21 news of the year, guys. That's about it. I'm out. Peace.